Uh, Affluenza. I think that's how you say it. They never actually say the title in the movie. I'm gonna be very brief with this. Um, I saw the trailer and it looked not good. Um, from a story standpoint, it's very unoriginal. It's a kid that goes to his cousin's house um, and he needs to stay with her for some time while he gets into art school. He's a photographer and um, he sort of starts spending time with her and her friends and they're rich and you know they're they're beautiful and they can do whatever they want because your parents don't care and they party and it's the OC basically so it's not very original but um, something made me watch it and I thought from the trailer okay the story is not gonna be that amazing and the acting looked terrible but something made me watch it I just saw like a couple of shots that I thought were interesting and I ended up really enjoying it actually um, the story wasn't that great, even though it was more than I expected, so that was good, because I wasn't expecting much, so so that was good. Um, it kept me interested, and the acting was pretty bad uh, for the most part, especially the grown-ups. The grown-ups were, were one guy uh, was bad. Uh, the girl from Bates Motel was in this, um, I don't know her name, uh, she plays the blonde girl that sort of left. Um, she was okay for the most part. I did not buy her when she was angry. Um, she, she didn't seem that good when she was angry. But the main kid was good. Um, I have never seen him in anything before. I think he was on Boardwalk Empire for an episode or two. Um, he, he was good. I actually, I felt like I was watching uh, like a young Anton Yelton or something. It looks similar um, and, I, and I was enjoying him even though he did have his weak moments as well um, something really attracted me to him and his performance and he looked like he was sort of lost trying to fit in but at the same time he was just as bad as them um, and, and I, I enjoyed him a lot and then the worst actor was that other guy uh, I just call him the other guy because I don't even know his name he was awful uh, uh, th there was one kid that was just really bad and I felt bad for him because he was really like trying but it wasn't working and he was just terrible but whatever <laughs> this movie is not that big anyway so I, I one thing that I really it pissed me off was the music I love when um, a film has great music and this one did not and like they weren't even trying they just grabbed like three random songs and put them into the movie and that was it uh, so you know they're supposed to be at a party and they're supposed to be dancing and there's supposed to be music and everybody's like yeah I love this song and you just like some generic beat that no one cares about uh, yeah and uh, one thing that I did like was the fact that I didn't know this, um, the story takes place in 2008 and they really do a good job of showing you that it's 2008. Uh, there's Obama posters everywhere, the, there's talk of Obama in the radio, there, there's everything. And because this takes place in um, sort of the lives of these very rich people, it shows with the economical uh, sort of crisis how they their lives just get destroyed um, and that's one part that I really really enjoyed of this movie because it does play into the story a lot um, the fact that these people their lives just go to hell because the country is going to hell um, you know they have all their money in the bank and the banks go bankrupt sorry oh so, these kids have to do with the fact that, you know, things aren't going to be that great for them from now on. Um, and I, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the message of it, even though it was blatantly stated, even in the trailer. Um, there's just a line saying, what's the point of making all this money if you can't connect with the people that you care about? It was just blatant in the trailer. But... I enjoyed it for the most part. It's not a great movie or anything like that. But if you just want to 
watch something it's not it's not bad uh, and and i'm a sucker for movies that take place in beautiful uh, beautiful places and they have like these beautiful houses with pools and gardens and i'm a sucker for that i um, i love sort of seeing those places um that's why i love melancholia so much not because the story necessarily but it took place in a huge castle and it was gorgeous so yeah affluenza i think it's called uh Atlanta. I'm sticking to it. That's the title. Um, yeah, watch it if you have time, if you have nothing better to do. There are better movies to watch, of course, but it's not terrible. And that's all I can say. That It, it wasn't terrible. It, it really wasn't. And that's good enough for me.